Always one of you guys in my videos, that's for sure. So I haven't been making videos for the last couple days. Well, boo-hoo. I've been busy. Right, kitties? There's my awning, which I completely replaced the top of. And a whole lot of boards underneath. Just so that I could clean my lawnmowers. So now it's 8 p.m. Friday the 15th of May. And I wanted to get busy getting all my lawnmowers going this year and get them full detail for retail. And that means I've got to pressure wash them. But my roof leaked too much, or my awning. It was just rotten. I made it 24 years ago. The top was falling apart. Carpenter ants ate the boards underneath. And when the leaks came through the roof, that made the boards wet. And that's another reason why carpenter ants ate them. And why it got rotten. So I'm standing on my garage roof now, looking at all this stuff. So now I've got all my lawnmowers pressure washed, just got to get them all going. Half of them were working last year, plus I've got fresh ones. And I was working at the farm in between, in between all the rain we have, which is coming tomorrow for Labor Day which is coming tomorrow for May 2 for a weekend, of course. Saturday, May 2 for a weekend, it always rains. So I cut massive amounts of grass at the farm with my John Deere. Did all kinds of menial tasks, fixing leaks of oil, gas, antifreeze, transmission oil, all kinds of tires. Menial tasks that weren't worth making a video of, but so many cars had so many leaks. And there underneath you can see some of the boards that I replaced, including all the ones that went along where the eave trough attached. $900 later, I'm going to have dry, clean lawnmowers. Except that random cattage always steps on them, don't you? Yeah, your wet feet. Mm-hmm. And my kitty's been busy too. She set me a new record. I had her all planned to get fixed over two months ago, made the appointment with my veterinarian, and then the day she was supposed to get fixed, the secretary called and said the veterinarian is very sick, don't know when he's going to be working again. I did my best to keep her away from all the male cats, even took my males to the farm, but the moments that she got away for just a second resulted in this, seven kittens that were born two days ago. This is the same cat that had the birth of five of them, or four of them, however many it was, a couple months ago, and they died except for one, and so Lucky was given away, he survived quite well. And my other light gray kitty, she had the four babies recently, which I posted some videos of, and I just got rid of the last one by advertising it for free, and the same day we had these. Yeah. You're missing your kitties. And she's got too many. You should help share some of your milk. So, the life of a YouTube celebrity is the same as anyone else's. I'm doing my wash now. I got jobs that gotta get done just like everybody else. And I always got these guys in the way. And they're always making babies. Now being the holiday weekend, I was planning on doing all kinds of great videos including the dump truck versus bus tug of war. Lots of other stuff like that. Well, Saturday looks like a washout so I don't know if anybody's going to show up. Sunday is going to be cold and sunny. Monday is going to be just a tiny bit warmer. When I mean a tiny bit warmer, Monday might get to 13 Celsius. Big deal. Last weekend was a washout too, super cold, super windy, and it rained three inches. So I didn't make any videos last weekend either. So, you know, life sucks in Canada, and we're in the most southern part, so it's probably worse everywhere else. Anyways, I did an aftermath shot of Wolf's burnt down house, so enjoy. So it's the day after, not much left of Wolf's house. Total loss.
shed finally came down. That was the kitchen. Still a bit warm. That's all that's left standing. Oh, and it wasn't even real brick, it was just a uh, brick veneer. <laughs> No wonder it collapsed. Only a half inch thick. Poor trees.